Hello, we are the Scotters, a family of five who bought an abandoned property in northern Portugal. With our three children, we're working to transform this forgotten place into our off-grid, sustainable dream home. Nestled in a beautiful forest and surrounded by a serene stream, we're living close to nature with plenty of animals joining us on this journey. Follow us along as we build our life from the ground up. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Nice one. <gasps> Feels very exciting. Yes. <laughs> Progress. Badger, there's kind of a contrast of two things here. We've still got the IBC on the truck. Yeah, we're always prepared now. Always prepared <laughs> after the fires. Yeah. Um, but we will talk about that in a bit. Yes. But today... Today, I thought we ought to just get prepared. So we've battened this side and I need to just, there's a few little bits I need to cut and put in to get it finished, finished. And then we would slot a window in and that try and weather it. That seems very exciting. Yeah, which... Well, I just, yeah, there's a few things flashing around. I just need to make sure that I can, before I tile it, because obviously the rain has gone, it's gone from like blazing hot to like raining. I know, it's autumn today. So, Suddenly. yeah, it's just autumn. Just started like that overnight, one day, and then it was autumn. So, I need to just make sure that before it gets tiled, which I think we will tile this side before we move to the other side, not all of it because we need to make sure that all of it <laughs> lines up and all the way around and make sure that's okay but i think we'll get like a bulk of it on and then maybe a sheet just to keep it weathered so that we can work our way around until it's all finished but what i don't want is the rain to go onto the felt under the window and just pour into the house because obviously we've got dry wood and oak insulation. And insulation and stuff in there so i want to get the rest of the batten done around there on the first window and get the first window up and in and i'm just checking to see what i can do to weather it and then, yeah, we'll just try and get a window in today. See what's going on. Cool. Yeah, and then we'll go to the next one, next one, get that finished, get some tiles on so that it's all sort of started. And then we'll move on to the other side and batten that and the end. So, yeah, so I was just looking that at the end windows. and this and that. And this and that and this and that. So I was just opening this window, which I haven't, we haven't opened yet, um, to see. Oh, it looks a bit on the edge. That's all right. Just to see what it kind of looks like. These are our skylights. Mm -mm -mm. Let that light in. It's a little bit dusty, but that's not a problem. So that's the inside. And then we've got a fixing pack, so we can use that. And then the other side's what's important. Mother Gizmo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so essentially that's the inside and then that's the outside. Nice. So we need to get the window out. That's what we need to do first job. Window out. And then take all these support battens, what do they call them? Like delivery supports, all this off. So we've got the brackets ready and then get the brackets on, fix this end and then wiggle it in. Just wiggle, like wiggle, let's do it. <laughs> what is it with cats and boxes? Crumbs. Crumbles. Are you in the window box? As soon as it falls on the floor, he's straight in. It blends into it. Yeah, look. <laughs> Tuck the sausage dog. <laughs> Crumbs, you're going to distract us today. Look. <laughs> Look. Look. So we just took the glass bit out and I didn't press record. 
<laughs> cat very savage me. And the cat just savage you. Uh, very exciting. Got the glass coming out, but we've taken the glass out to make it a bit lighter. Is that right? No, you have to take it out to install it. Okay. Yeah. Whatever bad um, said. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we took the glass out because obviously it's very, very heavy with the glass in. And then you install all this, and then you put the window in, click it, and flip. Click nice. And flip. It's click a click and, and flip. Window. A click and flip. But it's just our straining, so I think we need our coats on. <sighs> I don't it's know. One of Should those we give days. it five minutes and see. Hello. Oh, let there be light. <sighs> oh, it's so amazing. Now I can actually see what we're going to be able to see through our skylight which is that beautiful old oak tree. Oh, and a handsome man. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Stop it, make you blush. <laughs> so just from this skylight, I can see an oak tree, a sweet chestnut, another oak tree. I think if we can move these timbers to here, then I can stand on them through the hole. And it's a bit easier than clambering around. Good. Can you help me somehow? Yeah, I will find the ladder. Okay. I can stand here and work a little bit easier than this one and this one, but I need to go on to a back of something to here. Back. Right, so I've got all of the felt pinned back and extra battens underneath to get it up to the right height as the rest. There's another little batten under there. So we should be able to slot the frame in and then work it back round and cut it. And hopefully the window is going to appear from this hole any moment. That's all right. The window is making its way up. Well, the frame. That's it, lay it down on the scaffold. On this, this side. That's it, lay it down that way. And then you climb up. You can go round a little bit. Feeling a bit slow today. It's all right. <laughs> Getting back into the rhythm. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhythm. Feel the ride. Come on, Jamaica. It's bobsleigh time. <laughs> Great film. Perfect. Right. So I need... Yeah, anyway, that'll be fine. Pass it up just like that and I'll spin it as okay. I'm yeah. That's fine. Just rest it on the battens and then I'll just try not to make a hole in the That's it, perfect.
What's going on there then, Badger? Taking it back out? Well, I'm just thinking maybe if I move these buttons to underneath, then I could keep the felt, weather it. You know, I've never done one of these before. So it's the first time we have ever put a skylight in. It's your first time, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I've helped people, but... Round two of Badger in a Hole. Snug as a glove. Snug as, is that the same? Snug as a, like a glove. Snug as a bug. Snug as a bug fits like a glove. Not snug as a glove. I don't think it's snug as a glove. <laughs> Gloves are pretty snug. They are um, pretty snug. Can't deny that. Does that look squarish with the roof? Yeah. Looks like that bottom corner here. That bottom corner here. This one? No, that one looks like it's further down. As in deeper into the roof. Does that make sense? Yeah. Exactly because that's... Because these are all a bit twisted, these timbers, because they're not perfect. What you see here doesn't really matter, like, perfectly, because this will be made out with plasterboard or wood wool or whatever in here. So it's more about what it looks like with the whole room. Okay. So as you look at it, does it look evenly kind of across these timbers? Does it look like it fits in there evenly? Ignore the top and the bottom. It looks like they've twisted so. a little bit. Yeah? It's hard to tell because there's so many lines that aren't straight. Yeah, I think is so. Is this twisted? Or is it the other one? It's the bottom one that is. It's the bottom one, yeah, I thought so. Heavens have opened and we've opened the roof. <laughs> Didn't plan that very well, did we? Um, they said it was going to rain, but it didn't say it was going to rain this heavily. So yeah, 
very irritating but poor badger's up on the roof absolutely soaking trying to get the window in the window frame just an egg hanging out what do you think sausage hey it's a bit wet for you you ear over you don't like getting wet do you no one skylight hole in the roof. Now for the glassy bit. In the rain, I'm worried it's gonna like slip out of your hands. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Should I get up there and hold it? Uh. Um, my camera's covered in water. Well, that was completely terrifying, um, but I did it. I guess these couple of weeks are weeks of firsts, of being brave. <laughs> First fires, next scaling roofs. The thing we didn't think about is, uh, is that Badger is stuck up there now. I'm a little bit stuck, yeah. How's the window? Oh, it's a glorious view. Maybe we should have a seat here to watch the weather. <laughs> Right, shall I get you a ladder? Please. <laughs> right, so one skylight in, which it looks amazing. It's so cool. Well done. <laughs> but well, we did plan to get another one in yesterday, but the rain was It was a bit vicious. Wild. It was pretty vicious. Not that I'm complaining. No. I'm not complaining about rain at the moment. I'm quite <laughs> thankful for rain. Definitely. So everyone who did a rain dance for us last week after the fires, thank you very much because it has come in abundance and... But just half the amount of dancing this time. <laughs> So that it doesn't quite rain quite so much. Because last night, I genuinely thought we were in the middle of a hurricane. Yeah. The so, rain and the wind were wild. Yeah, it's been such an intense, crazy couple of weeks, to be honest. Um, I think this week we've kind of struggled, struggled to get going because after last week, after the fires, I don't think we fully acknowledged to ourselves and each other actually how stressful and um, distressing... Changing it was. It was, somebody put it on the was. thing, I hope the land still feels like yours. And I thought, what a hard thing to say. But actually, I suppose it's similar to like a house burglary. You just feel yeah. like it, your possession, your place has been sort of violated in some way. And you need to sort of come to terms with that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And obviously, like last summer, we saw so many fires, you know, kind of around and higher up on the mountain and stuff. But 
it genuinely was our valley on fire. Like we were there, there was no firemen. Um, I, yeah, the last so week's video busy. was quite rushed because obviously I didn't video everything. No. Um, but yeah, they were so busy with all the other fires that, that it was just us, our neighbours and our friends, which mm. was just crazy. Which is why it was another thing I wanted to address was that some people were like, you know, you shouldn't be the hero and you shouldn't try. We, we genuinely, genuinely weren't. And our, you know, our local community weren't either. But the Bomberos was so stretched that actually if we'd let it go, the locals would have said, the locals said that if it had crossed that road, it would have gone all the way through all the villages to the main river, which, you know, if we could have stopped, which we did, we had to make some effort. So please yeah, don't definitely. think that we were rushing out there trying to make a point or prove something to anybody. We were just out there because there were no other options at the time. Yeah, but it was... Um... And there was a lot of experienced locals telling oh, us what to do. 100%. <clears throat> we were definitely not leading the... No. Thing. We were following our We were our just neighbors. doing as we were told. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of taken us a while to appreciate what's actually happened and like at stepping back and realising that we had to tell the children that we might not be able to go back to the land mm. and two nights away, or three nights was it? I can't remember. Three nights yeah. away, um, you know, and Trixie was upset if her teddies were going to burn and like, on, it's quite, yeah, it was quite yeah. distressing. And actually when we did come back, everything smelt so badly of smoke that the yeah, children spent, were like, oh, it's horrible in here. <laughs> I spent the whole like beginning of this week cleaning, but. Yeah, lots of essential um, oils everywhere. But yeah, it's been a good lesson. I think also we are very appreciative that on our land we don't have one eucalyptus or one pine or, or one mimosa or any mimosa. Mimosa? So, Why does that, does that feel like a snack? Mimosa? Mimosa. Oh, mimosa. Okay. Mimosa. Yeah. We don't have any um, Indian snacks <laughs> on the land. Um, so yeah, we do feel very fortunate with our land, and there is a lot of water. Um, and the main fires were actually in the big eucalyptus plantations, which we still can't fathom what's going on. They're supposedly they're human started, which I fully believe, to be honest. Well, they're just too many in one but, concentrated area that it couldn't physically have jumped from here to there with that yeah. wind. It just, yeah, there's been quite a few arrests as well, which just, it, it boggles me. I don't really understand. Yeah, but we lost um, a bit of momentum. Yes, but we're a just... A bit of kind of, I think it zapped us, it zapped us. Mm. Um, but we're back on it. You know, we're one back. window down. Two to go. Two to go. And the sun has just come out. So hopefully we're going to be a bit drier. Yeah. But come on, let's get this other window in. Yeah. Just about to start window number two and three, but the woodman's coming. So this year we have decided, what have we decided, Badger? Well, so the plan... There is method to our madness. Yeah, so the plan is we've got a wood boiler for the house and we've got a wood burner in the barn. And uh, the plan is to get a bit of a stockpile. So I've ordered tronkish like trees so that I can chop them into the right size and then I want to get a splitter to split them because it's half the cost of the wood to do it that way. But this year I've also ordered two tonnes of dry wood. So that should hopefully keep us going this year. The then we've got next year's wood already drying and then next year we add to it and it should... And then the plan is to clear our forest. Exactly, and that's why we need the but chopper and the splitter green. to make our own wood. So yeah. that is my plan. And I'm hopefully, if this year we could sell some of the split wood to friends and family and then hopefully that will pay for the splitter maybe and then <laughs> yeah there's a whole system going on in your it's in head there. it's in there it is in there right, I need, we need to move this. okay this is the top of the make do fire truck where are we going to put it just cover the tiles up okay you could use it to cover the wood up i think it's gonna be a lot more than that okay Bless you. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm Thank just cutting you. the felt now. So I've cut the battens out so that the, the window will fit in. Now I'm just going to cut the felt. I'm going to go in a little bit from the corner so that it's tight and I can adjust it perfectly. And then I do the one up here. We can measure where the top of the window is. And then in. Let there be light. Like that. And then just jump through. Uh, 
<laughs> right, so the idea of having the three skylights here, so one, two, three, is over there is where the sun rises. So especially in the winter, it kind of comes behind these trees and right up there. And in the summer, it's kind of more over here, which will hopefully goes all the way around that way. Hopefully let the light in. Skylights. Oh my gosh, having the windows is going to make such a massive difference. Um, especially after the rain the other day, well, yesterday, last night, um, we definitely need to get a wiggle on and get the, at least the extension and the snug um, tiled as soon as possible because it's had the membrane on for quite a while. So how long has it been on? Since last winter, isn't it? Since last Christmas. We've got the felt on last Christmas. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's been on quite a while and we don't want it to get any more tears or kind of degrade anymore. So mission, mission extension roof and bathroom roof soon. I think the wood's ready, isn't it? Yeah. Wood's ready for the bathroom roof. So that's exciting. Um, so all systems go. So I'm just standing up on the scaffolding helping Badger. But can you see where I'm going to point? Here is my finger. Ooh. Oh, there it is. See that brownie patch there? That was part of the fire and up here on top um, you can see where it's all burnt. The other main bit was, you can't see it, it's behind these trees here. But um, yeah, that's how close it was to ours. So if you can see it all, it's not very clear, but it's kind of that brownie bit right on the horizon up there at the top. Very close and very scary. Glacio number two. Go on, Badger. Show us your muscles. Obviously, it starts raining. Anyone wondering what two tons of chopped chestnut looks like? There you go, more than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to pile it from there to there.
there we go. What was there? It's now there. Good job. Yeah. I thought it's a bit oh, of a boring gonna... job, but it's a satisfying job. Yeah, it's a good time to reflect and ponder. It's, um, it's one of those where you do and don't think, so you yeah. can sort of chill out a bit. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I've got, just got the window to put in on the last one. Look at that. Epic new skylights. One to go.